welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten's Trash or Treasure. But before we get started, what are we drinking? Today we are drinking Madman Marzen Oktoberfest oh. beer. All right. So as you can see, I'm the trash. And I'm the treasure <laughs> today. And today we're going to bring to you 2006's See No Evil. This one was requested by John Edano, directed by Gregory Dark. Uh, he's done quite a bit, but uh, mainly what we really want to bring up is uh, Between the Cheeks, uh, 1 to 3, New Wave Hookers, 1 to 4, uh, various music videos and such. In the 90s, a lot of music <laughs> videos. Glenn Jacobs is in this, and he's currently the mayor of uh, Knox County... Tennessee. He's most famously known as being a wrestler, though. The Unabom, <laughs> Isaac Yankum DDS, <laughs> and Fake Diesel. <laughs> what else? Did he do anything else? We might be missing one, but I'm not sure what it would be. That's gotta be Kane! <laughs> Casino Evil starts off with uh, two police officers responding to some disturbance. They see this woman laying there with no eyes. Her eyes have been ripped out. Suddenly this big monster of a man comes out, kills the one police officer, chops the arm <laughs> off the other police officer with a big axe. The one police officer is able to kind of just blindly shoot, got the guy in the head. Yeah, and presumably killed him yeah. too. The whole police force shows up, killer's not to be found, and they take the one police officer away on the gurney with his arm just kind of it's sitting on. on the gurney. <laughs> Four years later, and this police officer has done such a good job, you know, rewarded for having to lose an arm in duty, so they promote him to a prison guard. <laughs> He's put in charge of taking a bunch of prisoners out of prison to go clean up this old abandoned hotel called the Blackwell Hotel. This Blackwell Hotel has a very storied history. All this money stored away in some secret vault. There's all these passageways too that have been built into the hotel, yeah. right? This group is supposed to, they're supposed to clean up the, what, the entire hotel over the course of like a, a weekend? And this place is just a <laughs> shithole, like... Yeah! There's nothing you can do, like, like even no. a high-pressure hose wouldn't do anything. Uh, graveyard shift or something, <laughs> that guy... <laughs> and as each group kind of goes off to sort of clean... clean. <laughs> one guy's just destroying <laughs> things with that pipe. Yeah. Washing the paintbrush because you're supposed to be doing some painting. Yeah. Like, what did you paint? Everything is covered in dirt and shit. Like, you're just not going to paint over, like, all this fucking rotten garbage walls. Like, no, you have to clean them first. Somehow, I feel their heart is not in their work. Yeah. <laughs> There's two guys that sort of get off, and they start to actually hunt to get that damn money. They come across this bum. They kind of turn him over and he's got no eyes. Then all of a sudden the door opens up and this hook comes out. Goes and hooks one of the kids and starts dragging him towards... The elevator. And when he picks him up, his back all slams against <laughs> the wall there. Yeah, from there on in, all these inmates keep getting picked <laughs> off one by one by this monstrous man in the hotel. Mm -hmm. So this brings us to the trash of the movie. My biggest problem with this movie is the entire premise. <laughs> Letting these inmates out with supervision of one security guard. Mm -hmm. And one woman, one I, woman. I guess. There's like eight of them to one guard. They're not even in like prison uniforms. Like even someone doing community service are on those orange jumpsuits. <laughs> like these, they're all in designer clothes and everything. Yeah, they're not shackled. Yeah, they're not nothing. shackled and just go let them out. Just let him out. Let the son of a bitch out. Let him out. The inmates are like upstairs, like partying, and like the one woman almost gets raped, and everything. Like, when in real life would this happen? <laughs> and also the fact that they're supposed to clean up this hotel, like nothing can clean up this hotel. <laughs> yeah, just knock the fuck. Like, thing look down. at it. It's a piece of garbage. Like, there's that one woman, like with the broom on the walls. Like, yeah, yeah. that's gonna do a lot. You know, you need to tear that whole fucking thing right down. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Kane and his mom. There's no like backstory to this to them like owning or living in this hotel or anything. How did they get 
to be in this hotel. And find all the passages and... Yeah, and then intricate engineering that's been done with, like, those bells and pulley <laughs> systems. Pulley systems, and everything. yeah. Glenn Jacobs, big, fucking intimidating guy. Yeah. They could have done a much better job of actually making him intimidating. He's just a bald dude in a t-shirt. They could have, like, put, like, a cool costume on him or make him a bit more disfigured or something yeah. to make him scarier but he's just just a bald guy wandering around in the corridors you yeah. know it's, and he's got those shitty silly those, teeth. those silly teeth yeah. <laughs> yeah like even if they use his wrestling persona he would have been scarier yeah i think so like even with the mask and yeah, all that right exactly yeah. Oh, I don't even want to get into the unmasking of Kane when that happened. That was garbage. Is it even human? Well, yes, it's human. It's just a guy with a bunch of black grease paint on his face. The dialogue in this film is fucking atrocious. It's really bad. The acting's also bad, but oh, is it? Maybe not, because the, the, di dialogue. the dialogue they had to work with was so poor. Yeah. How can you judge the acting on such shitty dialogue? He kept her alive because she had... Tattoos. This day and age, who doesn't have tattoos? <laughs> the editing in this movie is of the day. All that jittery, <laughs> that just, just all that shit. Like, oh, I hate that. It's the worst. <laughs> CGI goes the into their the body. Yeah. <laughs> in the heart. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, you don't need that. Yeah. Why don't you show the person yeah. acting properly dying then that is scary exactly the reason for Kane being the way he is yeah. is too little too late in this yeah. movie as well yeah. to the point where I would have preferred that they didn't even have anything yeah so it leaves it open why didn't they just keep him an enigma and just just kill CGI version of Kane falling <laughs> from that window and there's no CGI really for the rest of the movie but you were like you wrote down oh no CGI that's yeah. good and it quickly got crossed out <laughs> <laughs> it's all CGI Kane falling from the building in the and background <laughs> and everything <laughs> like oh man it's like takes you out of the whole thing <laughs> then he hits the ground and that whole India or Got the, the pipe through his yeah. eye and yeah. everything. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings us to the treasure of this movie. That's right. And one of them is, well, before that scene, the effects. The kills themselves kind of make up for a lot of the, it the does. bad stuff. It of does, them. yeah. And that's a hallmark of this movie is the kills. In that hallway, when the elevator door is open, and it's a little bit like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, right? Yeah, very much so, yeah. Kane with the hook, yeah. right? And he gets that kid, and he drags him in. Yeah. Another great kill is the cell phone kill. <laughs> right. Because it does have a little bit of social commentary to it, because she's always on her cell phone all the time, and Kane takes his cell phone... <laughs> Shoves it down her throat. You can see it all black. Uh, yeah, I like how he yeah. keeps pressing yeah. Yeah. too, like to make sure it's down there. Yeah. And kills yeah. her by shoving the cell phone down her throat. It's like, yeah, you That's want it. your cell phone? You got yeah, your cell exactly. phone. Exactly. The guy's letting her down the window on the fire hose. He's slowly letting her go, and then you see the hands pulling that fucking thing. I out. love that scene because it's pretty tense. Yeah. It's like she's going down and suddenly she's going up and like oh. Yeah, and then she's trying to get out too, right? Of that thing, yeah. that harness. But where and all do you that. go if you get out? Just down. Down. If you go up, you're dead. You're fucked either way. Yeah. So it's a pretty <laughs> tense scene. Exactly. And then the kill itself is great because she's trying to kind of get out and she does. It <laughs> tightens and it snaps and it gets her at the ankles. So yeah. now she's hanging upside down. And then her arm. Yeah, and then the <laughs> kick cane lets her go and she just fucking falls and it stops just enough for her arm to hit the ground and break. And stray dogs come and eat her alive. It's a great, yeah. great kill. And it's quite well thought out. It's well, I think. The, the whole it's... thing is is great. It's, yeah. You know, between the luring and the getting high and then falling and not yeah. dying, yeah. and then the dogs at the end, just as the icing on the cake. It's, it's really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's probably the best kill of the whole movie. It is. Really. It is. Yeah. The mom getting killed too at the end, like after the big reveal, yeah. stuff like that, right? 
And then Kane starts to kind of come to his senses a little bit. And he just picks her up and just throws, throws her right <laughs> into the wall. And there's all these spikes. On the wall for some reason. <laughs> but it's really good. Yeah. Like, wow. All said and done. Are we going to rate this movie trash or treasure? Well, oh. let's find out. What do you say, Justin? It's got to be trash. I'm sorry, John. I know you recommended this movie to us and all. Uh, but... I'm going to have to say trash, too. Yeah. It was enjoyable in some ways. Like, the kills are great. And I was laughing. Having a good time watching it. But would I watch it again? No. Is kind of the question. I, yeah. I don't think I would watch it again. So I'd have to say it's trash, too. Yeah, it, it's a it's a good one-off. And it's it's a decent movie like to put in if you've got like a party yeah. going on or whatever. You put it in, and then you can kind of laugh at the kills and not and pay stuff. attention. Exactly. Yeah. Now, it did spawn a sequel which apparently I've heard is better. Danielle Harris is in it from Halloween fame, which has me intrigued. So I think I might want to check out the sequel at some time. We may just do a number two. And until next time, keep drinking.